Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the NTFS system failed blue screen error you are experiencing on your Windows computer. So this can definitely be a frustrating issue and you're likely coming across an error that says that your PC ran into a problem and you need to restart. We're just collecting some error info and then we'll restart for you. And then it says if you'd like to know more, you can search online later for this error and then it gives you the error code system service exception ntfs.sys so it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys and without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into it so we're going to first start off by opening up the star menu type in file explorer go ahead and open that up should be the best match and then select this pc on the left side right click on your local drive where windows is installed on you can see a little Windows icon above the hard drive, which is usually a pretty clear giveaway than that, which is usually a pretty good clue of where it is. Right click on that and select Properties. Select the Tools tab, and then under Error Checking, this option will check the drive for file system errors. Go ahead and select the Check button. Select Scan Drive. You can keep using the drive during the scan. If errors are found, you can decide if you want to fix them. Go ahead and select that. Okay, so once that's done, close out of here, select OK. Now you want to open up the Star menu, type in CMD, Rest Result, should come back with Command Prompt, right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the User Account Control Prompt, select Yes. And now into the elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to run this command. It will take some time to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that first one is finished, it says it did find some stuff, but we're going to go run the second command here. So copy that from the description of my video, start to DISM, and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. This will take a couple minutes to scan as well, so please be patient. Okay, so once we're done running this, you want to go ahead and close out of here, reset the computer. And there you go guys, should be as simple as that, and hopefully your issues should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.